Welcome to Comparative VPN YouTube channel. Today's video will be a full, in-depth CyberGhost vs ExpressVPN comparison that will tell you which is a better VPN for the money. CyberGhost and ExpressVPN are two very different VPNs, especially when we talk about pricing. While CyberGhost is made for those on a tighter shoestring budget, if you will, ExpressVPN is a lot more expensive and is made for those who don't care about saving money that much. On the flip side, ExpressVPN is regarded as the best VPN you can get and despite CyberGhost's extremely cheap prices, this VPN is pretty close to that title as well. With that in mind, it's interesting to see how well CyberGhost stacks against ExpressVPN. Of course, in this CyberGhost vs ExpressVPN comparison, we will examine everything from the apps and ease of use all the way to speeds, streaming capabilities, servers and customer support. Support. Before I start, I just want to remind you to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to stay notified whenever we publish a new useful video like this one. Ok, let's start with the apps and ease of use. Both VPNs support quite a lot of platforms and for the majority of them ExpressVPN and CyberGhost have native clients. I'm talking about Windows, iOS, macOS, Linux, Android, Firestick TV, etc, etc. I like that both VPNs support routers and through them they can also be utilized on devices like Apple TV, Roku, PlayStation and Xbox consoles and many more. When it comes to simultaneous connections, ExpressVPN gives you 5 of them, whereas CyberGhost bumps up this number to 7. Needless to say, this is a lot better for people using more devices. In this CyberGhost vs ExpressVPN duel, we also must address the ease of use. I'll be honest, ExpressVPN looks easier to use and it is easier to get into, regardless of the platform we are talking about. ExpressVPN lets you connect to the server of your choice in two simple clicks on your PC, and the same can be said about CyberGhost. Moreover, I like that ExpressVPN divides its server locations into their continents, which CyberGhost doesn't, and this makes it easier to find the server location you want in ExpressVPN. When we visit the settings menu in both VPNs, ExpressVPN also beats CyberGhost. CyberGhost has a bit erratic set of settings menus, so to find important features, you just have to search for them in the privacy settings, smart rules, or just use the gear icon in the bottom left corner of the screen. In ExpressVPN, all important features are located in the protocol and general menu, and these menus are easily accessible from a single options menu as you can see on the screen. All in all, ExpressVPN is a lot easier to use, while CyberGhost offers more simultaneous connections. Because of that, both VPNs get points in this round, making it a draw. In terms of security, both ExpressVPN and CyberGhost do a tremendous job. Being two premium VPNs, they share some features which include 256-bit encryption, a kill switch, split tunneling, IPv6 slash DNS leak protection and open VPN support. What I really like in CyberGhost is the addition of an art blocker which ExpressVPN doesn't have. Furthermore, CyberGhost supports WireGuard, which is a VPN protocol made for improving overall performance and speeds, making CyberGhost a lot more faster than it was before. However, ExpressVPN punches back with its proprietary Lightway VPN protocol. Lightway is based exactly on WireGuard and is a much more improved version. It not only brings some substantial performance boost but also bumps up the level of security, making it a much better choice than the vanilla WireGuard. ExpressVPN actually offers more VPN protocols in the application and in my experience I found that its skill switch is a bit more reliable. Still, in my tests, none of the VPNs showed any IP and DNS leaks, which is in the end all that matters for security and privacy online. Let's talk about logging practices of these two VPNs. ExpressVPN is based in the British Virgin Islands while CyberGhost resides in Romania. Make no mistake, these are some of the most privacy friendly jurisdictions in the entire world and this lays the groundwork for a strict no logs policy. As you can guess, CyberGhost and ExpressVPN both have no logging policy and as of recently they are sister companies. Their parent company is now Cape Technologies that acquired ZenMate and private internet access as well which we reviewed recently. All of these services follow a no log logging business model and ExpressVPN even has a security audit from PricewaterhouseCoopers on its no logs policy. This means that it really won't store any logs of your browsing history, IP address, DNS requests, geolocation, etc, etc. CyberGhost follows the same route and we can say the same about it. But it doesn't have any external security audits, albeit it has these transparency reports published every 3 months bolstering its no logging claims that it never violated. So in the end, in this ExpressVPN vs CyberGhost security battle, who is the winner? Well, it's ExpressVPN. It has a higher level of security overall and its no logging policy has an official audit which CyberGhost is yet to receive at the time of making this video. The current score is now 2-1 for ExpressVPN. 
In this part of the CyberGhost vs Express VPN Duel, I must perform a series of streaming tests to determine which VPN is a better choice for unblocking geo-restricted streaming platforms. For this test, I will use Netflix US and BBC iPlayer. Since I'm not from the United States, as you can clearly hear, I searched for the movie Batman The Killing Joke on Netflix which is available exclusively in the United States and as you can see, I cannot find it. If I move on to BBC iPlayer and try to watch anything, for example this show, I will also get a geo restriction message because obviously I'm not from the UK, hence I cannot watch anything on this website. Let's try to unblock Netflix US first by using ExpressVPN. As you can see, I have already connected to the VPN server in the United States, so let me refresh the page and see if I can find the movie I want. And after refreshing the page, as you can see, Batman the Killing Joke is right here, so of course, let me click on it and see if I can watch it. And as you can see, the movie really works flawlessly, but I'm blurring the footage to prevent any potential copyright claims. Let's move on to BBC iPlayer now. As you can see, I have a UK IP address, so of course, let's refresh the page and see if I can watch the show. After refreshing the page, as you can see, the G restriction message is not here anymore, so let's try to watch the show and see if I can do it. And as expected, the show really works, but as I said, I must blur the footage to prevent any potential copyright claims. Ok, let's try the same process with CyberGhost. As you can see, I've connected to a dedicated streaming server for Netflix US, so of course, let's refresh the page on Netflix and see if I can find the movie. And after refreshing the page, as you can see, Batman the Killing Joke is right here once again, so let's try to watch it. And after trying to watch the movie, surprisingly I get a proxy error message, which basically means that Netflix detected my VPN usage and therefore blocked my access to the website. In other words, despite using a dedicated Netflix US server from CyberGhost, this VPN cannot unblock Netflix US. You can see once again that I connected to a dedicated BBC iPlayer server in the United Kingdom, so of course I will refresh the page now. After refreshing the page, once again the G restriction message disappears, so let's try to watch this show. Once again I get some kind of error message, and despite having a UK IP address from CyberGhost, I still cannot watch BBC iPlayer. And with the tests out of the way, you can clearly see why CyberGhost is so cheap. Sure, it's an amazing security powerhouse, but if you want to enjoy streaming, that's not going to be as great as with ExpressVPN that simply destroys CyberGhost in this part. This further raises the score to 3-1 for ExpressVPN. Let's now perform a couple of speed tests to see how fast CyberGhost and ExpressVPN actually are. I will start off this speed test by showing you my native internet speeds that you can clearly see on the screen. For the first speed test, I will use the server location close to me, which in this case is Bulgaria, and then I will use the US server, which is very far from me, to see how well VPNs perform when connecting to long distance servers. Let's now begin with CyberGhost. As you can see, I have already connected to the VPN server in Bulgaria, so I will go back to the speed test website and initiate the first speed test for today. As you can see now, CyberGhost shows really impressive results with only a slight speed reduction when compared to my native speeds. Now, while using the US server from CyberGhost, I will once again go back to the speed test website and of course initiate the second speed test. In this case, the speed reduction is more dramatic and I lost more than 50% of my initial speeds, give or take, while my latency jumped to almost 200 milliseconds. I will now move on to ExpressVPN and I already have a Bulgarian IP address, so in this case I will go back to the speed test website and initiate the speed test. Ok, so in this scenario, ExpressVPN is only a tiny bit better than CyberGhost, which isn't enough to declare it a winner. However, I'm connected to the US server now, so of course, let's go back to the speed test website and initiate the final speed test for today. After this test, it's clear that ExpressVPN is a lot faster than CyberGhost, preserving my upload and download speeds much better and keeping my ping way below 130 milliseconds. That being said, ExpressVPN wins this round, making the score 4-1. In the next part of the CyberGhost vs ExpressVPN comparison, we will talk about servers. And here, the winner is very obvious. Let's start with CyberGhost. This VPN has a massive server network of 7500 servers in more than 90 countries globally, which if you ask me is totally insane. Furthermore, there are several types of servers available. For example, dedicated torrenting and streaming servers accompanied by no spy servers that are independently operated by CyberGhost for additional level of privacy. ExpressVPN on the other hand has 3000 servers in 94 countries and this is impressive as well. While it has the same number of countries as CyberGhost, more or less, the total server count is a lot smaller. Plus, ExpressVPN doesn't have any dedicated servers, although in all honesty it doesn't need them. However, CyberGhost still easily wins this round, simply because it has a much larger server fleet and that's all that matters in this round. Therefore, the score is now 4-2 for ExpressVPN.
Customer support of both VPNs is going to make you satisfied. As I said, these are the best VPNs you can get and as such they are obligated to give you full 24-7 live chat support which they do. I found both customer support team to be crazy fast to respond. Upon asking a question you will get a response in less than 15 seconds and this means that you can fix any potential problems in no time. Email support of both VPNs is excellent as well and I like the addition of their YouTube channels. ExpressVPN is a lot more active and has some really useful videos. CyberGhost isn't very active which I think is a bad decision but not necessarily the most important one. Finally, there are in-depth FAQ sections and blogs on both websites where you can engage in a self-help process and fix the potential issues all by yourself. I won't talk too much about customer support team because frankly I don't need to. Both of them are exceptional and that's why this round is a draw with a score of 5-3 for ExpressVPN. Before I conclude my CyberGhost VPN vs ExpressVPN analysis, I must talk about pricing. As I said at the start, you know who is going to be a winner here, but let's actually see how cheap this CyberGhost VPN is. You can see its prices on the screen and the cheapest deal is one on the left. You can basically get a very solid VPN at less than $2.5 a month and when you purchase this deal you get a 45 day money back guarantee with no specific conditions. This applies to all plans longer than one month by the way. On the flip side we have ExpressVPN that also isn't that expensive but when compared to CyberGhost it's like comparing apples to oranges. The cheapest deal on ExpressVPN is the annual one where you get a 49% discount and 3 months free on top of that. Its price is undoubtedly a lot higher but there's a 30 day money back guarantee for all subscription plans even the monthly one where CyberGhost gives you just a 14 day money back guarantee. Now that you've seen the prices you know which VPN is going to be more wallet friendly. That is of course CyberGhost that takes the win in the final round and makes the final score 5-4 for ExpressVPN. By the way make sure you check out the cheapest deal on both VPNs down in the description below where you can claim a 49% discount and 3 months free for the 1 year plan with ExpressVPN or perhaps get the cheapest possible price on CyberGhost VPN. Ok, let's now summarize this CyberGhost vs ExpressVPN comparison. Being two very different VPNs in terms of pricing, it's surprising how well CyberGhost fought against ExpressVPN. Obvious advantages of CyberGhost include exceptionally low pricing, more servers, more simultaneous connections and additions like an ad blocker and dedicated servers. However, everything else is on ExpressVPN's side. ExpressVPN offers easier to use applications, much faster speeds, better streaming capabilities, audited no logging policy and a very powerful lightweight VPN protocol that's currently impossible to beat. So overall ExpressVPN takes the win in the most crucial rounds of this duel and this makes it a winner of today's battle. With that said, this was all for today's video, I really hope you liked it and if that's the case make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel and stick with us because many more useful videos like this are coming pretty much on a daily basis. See you in the next video, bye!